Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W47C of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the structure and components that are common to these kinds of elevators. Uh, so uh, the form for these kind of elevators is more or less the same. Uh, we've got a water channel that pushes items uh, into, a uh, into a tower of solid blocks uh, where the items are then propelled up the tower. Uh, the uh, water channel is usually lined with ice, uh, although it doesn't strictly have to be, um, uh, but it's usually lined with ice or packed ice, uh, except uh, within some distance of the tower where the speed and positioning of items becomes important for the mechanics of the elevator. Uh, the tower is composed of solid blocks, uh, including the core here. Um, and uh, the uh, what's considered a solid block is a bit ambiguous, but uh, any full block is probably going to be safe. I used to think that uh, transparent solid blocks were required, but uh, someone had politely corrected me. I, I don't uh, remember who that was, but uh, I've successfully tested this with opaque solid blocks and, and uh, everything's fine. So uh, the, the side uh, blocks here are required, uh, but the corner blocks are optional. They could actually be completely removed. Uh, I usually just uh, like to have them for the purpose of aesthetics. Uh, now, at the heart of these kind of elevators are these two blocks here, uh, the black block uh, and the red block. Uh, items need to be pushed past the red block into the black block. Uh, and the, the, the black block then is responsible for propelling items up the tower. Uh, I refer to this black block here as the levitator block. Um, uh, but the levitator block is not going to work unless the opening of the tower is closed. Uh, and that is the responsibility of this red block here, uh, to seal the tower in order to ensure the function of the levitator block. Uh, I refer to the red block then as the barricade block. Uh, and uh, these two blocks uh, work in conjunction with each other. Uh, now, the, the beauty of the fence post elevator was that both the uh, barricade block and the uh, levitator block, uh, they were both fences, and, then, and they were both allowed to be fences due to the glitchy collision box of fences. So, uh, but uh, consequently, neither of them, uh, neither the barricade block nor the levitator block, uh, were mechanisms. Uh, now, though, uh, the only known options for the levitator block uh, are mechanisms uh, and uh, some me non-mechanism options do exist for the uh, for the barricade block um, at least for the time being uh, but the heart of the elevator uh, has to include at least one mechanism and mechanisms are stateful uh, so if it's not safe for items per to proceed into the tower under all combination of states for the barricade block and the levitator block uh, then the item stream has to be regulated uh, and that is what these yellow blocks here are for. Uh, they represent a regulator, and the responsibility of the regulator is to ensure that items do not proceed to the tower at an inappropriate time for the barricade block or the levitator block. Uh, without, the le without the regulator here, uh, the elevator is going to become lossy in, in some, way, some way, shape, or form. Sometimes that's okay, um, uh, but uh, sometimes it's not. Uh, so um, I, I'm going to be covering regulators here. Uh, by, and by loss here, um, uh, without the regulator, uh, items can end up spitting out the side or they can get stuck on bare blocks of ice or, or, or um, I guess those are mostly the options. Um, but the regulator is going to be, re is going to be required for lossless designs and uh, so I'm, I'm going to be covering it as well. Uh, now, uh, the regulator uh, may also be a mechanism, uh, and uh, so the elevator design then is going to include anywhere from one to three mechanisms. Uh, the barricade block, the levitator block, and the regulator can all be mechanisms. Uh, and that's what these brown blocks here uh, are for. Uh, they represent an activator, and the responsibility of the activator is to drive and coordinate uh, the various mechanisms of the elevator. Uh, so that's all then for this sh uh, short little video. Um, uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the options for the barricade block. Uh, that's the red block. Uh, and in subsequent videos, I will feature the options for each of the other components in turn. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please leave a note in the comments. And thanks very much for watching.